I'm opening up DaVinci Resolve 16, creating a new project. I am going to my desktop where I stored the raw folder from the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera OG, putting the folder in the media pool, dragging it in, uh, change the settings to match what I shot on the camera. Um, clicking on that folder. And I'm going to drag it into the timeline. Okay, so there's my raw footage. And I'm going to make the window a little smaller so we can see the bottom row of icons. Here we go to the color icon, click on it, go over to the left middle area and click on camera raw icon. Now we just have to change a couple of settings here. Uh, decode quality, we go to full resolution and decode using, we go down to clip. Now if you notice this opens up a whole bunch of, uh, of of area where we can actually grade this video very quickly. Uh, first thing I do is I go to white balance and because I'm using soft light in this room I switch to tungsten. That gives it a uh, more accurate color balance based on the type of lighting that I had in the room. I am now going to these windows and I am just going to change the parameters by sight uh, to make it look more colorful than the drab uh, picture that we get with raw files. All right, I increase saturation and color boost, increase the contrast. Um, let's see. Mid-tone detail is, is increased. You can see more colors coming into this to this frame. A little more saturation. I'll go down to the highlights and increase the highlights. Uh, go down to the shadows and increasing this number will reduce the shadows. Once again, this is all just being done by eye to get a picture that looks accurate color-wise and, uh, and saturation-wise uh, to my eye. Okay, I'm decreasing the lift a little bit to give it a little darker appearance. Uh, as you see, this, this took about a minute or so to grade from raw to what I consider to be an acceptable color image. Uh, no LUTs, uh, just a few tweaks on those uh, sliders. I'll go down to deliver. I'm ready to uh, export this video. Uh, I'm going over to give it a title and see where I'll put it. Now I notice here that it's going to save it as a .mov file which is QuickTime, which I don't want, so I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go to the format and pick the format I want, which is MP4, H264. I check it's uh, 1080p, it's uh, best quality. Everything else is pretty much automatic, so I give it a, uh, I give it a name. Uh, okay, this is raw conversion to mp4 and I hit the browse button to see where I want to save it and I always save to the desktop because that's easy to find. I press save and now I go down and I want to add this to the render queue. Press that button. Notice the untitled project shows up on the right and I say start render. Now this is just a short test video so it's only going to take a few seconds 
for it to uh, complete exporting. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the actual video uh, that got exported. So it's uh, really, uh, you know, it's, it's not the greatest grade, but it's acceptable. It was done in about a minute. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, good luck.